Oh, hello there. Sorry, I didn't see you there. I was reading uh, my favorite, Edgar Allan Poe. It's funny that you uh, catch me here, actually, because uh, I made a short film about Edgar Allan Poe. I'm sure you all know me. My name is William Dozier, and I'm the director of this short film uh, you're about to watch. Talking about the short film, the short film's called The Raven, rather William K. Dozier III's version of The Raven, completely inspired by Edgar Allan Poe's very famous poem, The Raven. Now, I made sure to remain as faithful as I can to the original play, meaning I only changed, I think, two words the entire play, though the thing is, is even though I lifted every single line off that uh, uh, poem, I decided to change some of the visuals. So instead of the bird being real, it's fake. Instead of a bookcase, it's a record case. And there's certain actions that you'll see that differ from the, the emotions of the play. I did this just out of creative liberty, mainly because it would be cool to tell another story of the Raven. But the other thing is, is if I just did the Raven, then I'm ripping off the Raven and I'm not a ripoff. Even though I made exuberant changes, I made sure to retain as much emotion and fear and sadness as that I tried to do with my acting capabilities uh, to be faithful to what Edgar Allan Poe really wanted from the play. Oh, this little fellow? This is one of the props we use. His name's Russell. The other one, uh, he didn't really make it out, as you'll see. Cheryl, we miss you. <sighs> Don't they look alike? I had a lot of fun making this play. It wasn't the best, you know, short film. We had a $25 budget. An actor who, well, let's be honest, couldn't really act. But I love him anyways. I don't really know what else to say. Oh wait! This doesn't look like a gothic movie. Here we go. Well, I hope you enjoy the short film. Thank you for everyone who helped make this with me. Ellie Dozier, Carlito Bryant Garcia, Finn Rolstad, uh, Edgar Allan Poe, my dad for producing the, the Poor Little Ravens. And uh, please enjoy.
Tis some visitor? Tis some visitor, tapping at my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. I really wish for the morrow. I seek to borrow from my book, Surcase of Sorrow. Sorrow for the lost. For the lost Lenore. Tis some visitor entreating entrance at my door. Some late visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. This it is, and nothing more. Sir, madam, truly your forgiveness I implore, but the fact is, I was napping. And so gently you came rapping, and so faintly you came tapping, tapping at my chamber door. That's scarce for sure I heard you. Lenore? Surely, surely that is something at my window lattice. Let me see, then there it is, and this mystery explore. Let my heart be still a moment, and this mystery explore. Tis the wind and nothing more. Though thou crest be shorn and shoved, thou art sure no craven, ghastly grim and ancient raven wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's plutonium shore. Nevermore. We cannot help agreeing that no human being ever yet was blessed with seeing bird above his chamber door. bird or beast upon the palace painting with such a name as Nevermore. Other friends have flown before. On the morrow he will leave me, as my hopes have flown before. Nevermore. That was. What it utters is that it's only stocked and store caught from some unhappy master whom Unmerciful disaster followed fast and unfollowed faster, until his songs one burden bore. Tell the dirges of his hope that melancholy burden bore. Of nevermore. Wretch! Thy God hath lent thee, by these angels he hath sent thee respite. Respite and nepenthe from thy memory of Lenore. Quaff! Quaff this kind of nepenthe and forget this lost Lenore. Nevermore. Prophet, or thing of evil, prophet still if bird or devil, whether tempter sent or whether tempest tossed thee here ashore, desolate yet all undaunted. On this desert land enchanted, on this home by horror haunted, tell me truly, I implore, is there, is there balm and file? And tell me, tell me, I implore. 
never more. Think of evil. The prophet is still a bird or devil. By heaven that bends above us, by that God we both adore. Tell this soul with sorrow laden if, within the distant Aden, it shall clasp a sainted maiden whom the angels have named Lenore. Clasp a rare and ardent maiden whom the angels have named Lenore. Never more. Be that our sign of parting, bird or fiend. Get thee back into the tempest and the night's nice plutonium shore. Leave no black plume as token of that lie thy soul hath spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken, quit the photo above my shelf, take thy beak out of my heart and take thy from my home. <laughs>